talk about who you're going to play and what you love about him. What can you tell us? I mean, I grew up with Monty Python no. living in Canada. This, as soon as I read the first four pages, I was like, this guy's John Cleese. And that's very much w what I love about him. He's very stiff upper lip. He's from a time when uh, it was a man's world and it was, and it was a lot of manners. You could take what you wanted. And in this play, he systematically learns that uh, the world is changing around him. I play Sylvia, and uh, and Sylvia, like I said, goes through transformation. So there's versions of her. We, she starts out sort of light and wisp and wistful, with thinking of all the possibilities and in love, and then. <laughs> With some news and information, things change, and she kind of gets a little dark, and and then she kind of finds herself. So, um, so, so yeah. So you get to see these sort of different versions of her, and but overall, uh, she's still sort of a person who believes in the possibility of things. So. Okay, now you're just discovering Marjorie. Who is she? Oh, Marjorie is a salty baroness. She's very judgmental. I mean. You know, who isn't? Um, but she also loves to gossip. Talk about who you play and what you love about him already. I play a fellow by the name of Clark. He's sort of a, you know, bit of a high society bon vivant. Um, you know, so it felt right up my alley. I have a, a, a character whose name you'll love. His name is Richard. I think he's named after you. It's a very audience interactive show. Um, but uh, Richard is a mystery. And you'll have to come see the show to find out who Richard is. Richard is a man of mystery and intrigue. And um, yes, he's a fun character. Who do you play and what do you love about her already? Yes, yeah, so I play Deirdre. I would say <laughs> she's sort of the young optimist, hopeless romantic who leads with her heart and not so much her head. Uh, and that is always fun to play. Somebody who truly believes in everything she's saying, but it's probably incorrect. <laughs> misguided. I mean, you've got the best of the best working with you on this. What's it like being in the room with them and keeping them, like, not breaking up every two seconds? Well, it's okay to break up every two seconds. It, it's, um, they're amazing. And they're amazing for so many reasons. First of all, they, that they exist. Because this, the, the, what we needed for each of these characters was, there were so many boxes that had to be checked that we thought, we're never going to find this. And we did, and they're all perfect. And then the way this gets put together is a little different from other shows where it's a play and you go, well, just walk around and feel it and we'll talk about the backstories and the character. This one you go, okay, we have, to, we have to choreograph this like a dance and we need to do that quickly. So let's do that and then we'll reverse engineer all the rest. Well, you need actors that are willing to go, okay, let's go, let's go. Where do you want me to go? Over here and I'm doing A, B, C, D. I'll find a way to do that. And you know, they are instant collaborators because everybody needs to find it at the same moment. It's so strange. 